Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you guys so much for joining me as we go ahead and take a look into a film called Hidden Figures. So going into this movie, ladies and gentlemen, there's not much I can really tell you about it. I literally just heard about this film maybe 10 to 15 minutes ago before recording this here for you guys. So I'm literally going into this movie completely clueless. Um, I literally don't know what I'm getting myself into. Uh, I didn't really quite read the description. I didn't even catch a trailer, to be honest with you guys. Um... I just, me and my brother was just having a conversation and this movie just got brought up and he asked if I watched it. I was like, no, and we, here we are. <laughs> That's pretty much how this came about. And uh, yeah, so I'm completely clueless about it, to be honest with you. Um, my brother mentioned that this film is... Something about NASA, but that's really all I really picked up, to be honest with you guys. You guys know me. I like to just go in there and just kind of wing it and see the movie for what it is and just kind of figure it out on the fly. So that's literally what I'm going to be doing here, you guys. So that's all I can really tell you guys about what I know going into this movie, which is completely nothing. And uh, we're just going to go in there and have fun. So if you are a fan of Hidden, fi hidden Figures, Jesus, uh, if you are a fan of Hidden Figures and what we do here in Geeked Out Nation, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on our Patreon if you guys want early TV shows, films, movies, whatever the case may be. Feel free to go ahead and check us out on our Patreon. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and jump into this and just see what it's all about. This is Hidden Figures, and here we go. <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm going into this movie clueless. Like, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. But that's fine, though. You guys know me, man. I like to just do that. I like to just go in there and just... It is based on true events. I love movies like this. 14. That's more than kind, Miss Solomon. It's like high schoolers or probably college students, like... <laughs> They're so older than her. Then common sense says at least one of the two terms has to be zero to start with. I'll hitchhike. Girls. Oh. Yes! Mary, Mary, I was about to say, right, you're... <laughs> right. You didn't meet up behind. Right. Just don't hit him. So NASA's headquarters, that's in Houston, right? I believe. So are they in Houston, Texas? Need to go again. So is our comrade, Ivan, a brave space traveler. We have proven life can be sustained. Oh, look, it's Sheldon. What? A damn dog and a damn mannequin. I forgot what his the actor's name is, but that's so cool. 1.6 megaton RDA. Fast with rocket ships, slow with advancement. Get those trajectory caps worked out. We need them for the redstone test. I'll be like, I need this money you guys owe me. <laughs> Come on now. Ah. Oh. Must be the pod where the astronauts might be. I think, I don't know, I could be wrong. <clears throat> I was about to say, uh, I'm in here. <laughs> oh no. This wasn't emptied last night. I'm sorry, I'm not the. Right. I'd have been like, fool, you better take this damn thing. But I, I know, times back then was a little different. My God, where have you been? Are you finished yet? Uh, Am I finished yet? The end of the day. The end of the day. Right. Here was yesterday. I need those done first. He wants those done first. Okay. Get going. So it's so hard to watch, you know, like seeing these kind of moments. I can't believe we used to live in a world like this. Kind of hard to believe. I mean, of course, I know it happened. It happened before, but it's disgusting to see, you know? I'm 
We've been waiting for hours. Next time, take the bus. She's in a mood. Well, thanks for waiting. Seriously. <laughs> Thank you. Capitan, and you know it. Just make that pencil move as fast as your mind does. You'll be fine. And you have some respect. Get your damn feet off my dashboard. <laughs> <the> living room. <laughs> I sound like a supervisor, don't I? A mean old salty one. Riddled with authority, no question. Mm. <laughs> well, that's good for him. Catherine, go find your way over there. That Colonel Jim is a tall glass of water. Bet he is. Tall, strong, commanding. Oh, then I bet he's like that day and night. Mary, it's Sunday. He's coming over. Now, why would he be doing that? Because Mary's waving at him. No. <laughs> I'm, Fix your hair. I'm, Hello, I'm Dorothy Vaughn. That's Mary Jackson. I believe you met her husband, Lee. Necessary to enable launch and landing for the space program. <laughs> Pretty heady stuff. I was about to say, that's tough. That's, yeah, that's difficult. That I'm just saying in general. Not, I mean. not because she's a woman or anything. I'm saying in general, that sounds difficult to deal with. I'm just surprised. Engineering, and I'm proud as the devil to be working with you. Thank you, Mary. John. John, let's take it inside. Yes, sir. Guys. Well, I'm happy he acknowledged them, because that would have been kind of wrong if they just kept going. Is that correct? All of this to me is so confusing. Whose work is that? I can I couldn't tell you guys what I'm looking at. <laughs> Whose work is that? Catherine Goble, sir. Thank you. Baby, don't <laughs> think <laughs> don't give her any more, Catherine. I, I can't. She drank it all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I'm as fine as I have ever been. We'll teach you how to go here. All right, slow. We're going to teach you how to get a man. Teach you. Come on. You got to know how to dance. Slow. Come on. Slow. You were a Yeah. Can I win it with those legs today? No, I don't imagine there's many. That's good practice right there. <laughs> we interrupt this musical programming with breaking news. The Soviet news agency has announced that Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin has become the first man in space. Gagarin. Oh wow, this must be actual footage. Wow, that's cool. That's really cool that they were able to get that and put it in the film. I mean, if that was real footage, it looked pretty real. I mean, it's not her fault. You guys gotta put a bathroom for her to use or let her use the bathroom regularly. Like, it sucks to see this. Like, seeing her have to like go all the way across to, like the facility just to go to the bathroom is it's ridiculous. And it really breaks my heart to see this. Good work, gentlemen. Go have dinner with your kids and let's get back to work. Say, gentlemen, but we have ladies here too. Come on now, come on. We gotta acknowledge our, we gotta acknowledge our ladies. They're working hard too. Unfortunately, the Liberty Bell 7 capsule is lost. 
I never knew that. I, I, ne I never knew that part in history. Wow. Mr. Harrison, tax that was a close call, too. Along with your capsule. So what makes you think you can bring John Glenn home safely? Let me say first, discovery is never just for the sake of discovery, gentlemen, but for the sake of human survival. And this as they occur. As you said, it's a pinhead. Uh, Catherine, that's the job. When I mean, you ask for this assignment, so just calculate with what you have. Or we'll find someone who can. Yeah, but that's tough to ask her to do that. That's hard. Just hearing him break that shit down, I'm like, oh, that sounds like a headache. Man. <clears throat> and then she doesn't even have all the information at that. Like, how do you expect it to be accurate, you know? I get Meet that it. part, Paul. But within these walls, who, uh, who makes the rules? You, sir. You are the boss. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <clears throat> you keep quiet. Thank you. Ladies, we've been reassigned. Leave your calculators. You won't need them where we're going. Oh, so awesome. She was able to get her whole team. Wow. This is incredible. Oh, please, I hope it goes right, well for her. Tonight we discuss Plank Einstein. Wavelength relationships. Guys, don't be an asshole. Please don't. Not to her. Come yes. on. I'm Mary Jackson. I'm in a row. Well, the curriculum is not designed for teaching a woman. Mitchell. No smart comment. Okay, sweet. Finally. You working late today? Seems to always happen that way. Yes, seems to. <clears throat> That's not my decision, ma'am. That would be the supervisor. Yes. Not the supervisor. You guys don't want to promote me. Good night, Mrs. Mitchell. See, if she was supervisor, she would have been cool with it. I'm sorry about this. It's out of my hands, if you can believe that. Honestly. Oh, that 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 is heartbreaking. That that sucks. Ah, oh, she's the reason why this person could possibly have a safe landing, damn it. And a safe way back home. Did good work around here, Catherine. Outstanding work. I'm talking work that if I wasn't here, you guys would have still been stuck type work, you know? Oh, it's so heartbreaking to see this. She, she deserves so much more. I'd be like, man, y'all better promote me after coming to me. Damn it. Looking for Catherine Goble. It's Catherine Johnson now. They need you to verify these coordinates. Uh, coordinates. Yeah. <laughs> she's back to, uh, <laughs> she's back to running. <laughs> she be out too, yo. She be having heels on and everything. She be making moves. No, she what? What? You're telling me she couldn't go in? Bad fourteen. Wow, she should be in there, you guys. Oh, thank goodness. 
I was about to say, you can't do her like that, man. She deserves to be in that damn Sir, room. We've got Pat I wonder if this is real footage. Just based off the way it looks. It kind of looks like it could be. Like right there, that looks kind of real. Like right there, it looks CGI. You could tell. You know what I mean? Certain scenes look like... Like right there, that looks real as hell. Wow. Honestly, if I seen that view, I think I would be scared you as fuck. Cool. <laughs> Thank you, Capcom. As beautiful as it looks, it looks equally as scary if you ask me. Oh. <clears throat> uh oh. Warning light. Capcom, Wait, seven, what? I have a warning light. Stand by, seven. Sir, you have a warning light. Oh my God, no. What are we looking at, Paul? The uh. The heat shield may have come loose. Seven, no. Confirm the landing bag is in the off position. Make a manual 05G entry. And bring the scope in. Over. Who <sighs> knows? I mean, yeah. The way you guys were talking, uh, I'm sure he did figure that out. There is no way that Colonel Glenn can get back through the Earth's atmosphere. The heat is simply too overpowering. There's a real fireball outside. It's getting a little hot in here. Fireball outside. Oh. This is what I mean by scary. Like, there's so many bad, like, so many things that could go wrong. Roger. Approaching minus 165.23. Five, six, and three, two, one. Engaging shoots. I was about to say, I know they have parachutes, right? Beautiful shoot. How are we looking, Capcom? Your go, no go is John Glenn has splashed down safely and is being recovered by the USS Noah. Jeez. Catherine. <clears throat> nice work. Yeah, so happy for her beginning first. Yeah, way to go, Dorothy. Yeah, that's right. Bring me my coffee. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. What's going on, you guys? And thank you so much for joining me as we go ahead and talk about what we just seen in the movie, Hidden Figures. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for joining me, man. This movie was fantastic. Uh, it was probably the best movie, I think, that I actually sat here and watched with you guys here in Geek Down Nation. It was very impactful, very meaningful, and it was one of those movies that it makes you think after a while, uh, after you see it, it makes you think about what you just got done watching. So... Ladies and gentlemen, this movie right here was just fantastic. Going into this, I literally had no idea who any of these women were. And after leaving, watching this movie, I'm happy to say that I know who uh, Catherine Jackson is, uh, Mary Jackson, who uh, Mary Jackson is, who Dorothy is. Um, these women were very important to uh, our space race, which... The space race is very much a different thing that I'm going to go ahead and very quickly touch up on. Um, but yeah, you know, this was a very difficult time for women and at that women of color. And to see them overcome the obstacles, to see them overcome the odds, it was really, truly inspiring. And it was a great, great film, in my opinion. 
Um, I'm sure that the women in real life, the actual real women, uh, probably dealt with a lot more worse than what we've seen on screen. It wouldn't surprise me if, you know, we, we see some uh, reports that it was really bad for them. Um, but it gives you an idea. It gives you an idea of, of seeing what these women had to go through. And it was amazing to see where they got to at the end of this film. And, you know, I'm very happy leaving this movie saying that I know who these three women are. Um, this movie was fantastic. I have to give credit to the director for, you know, bringing us this film. I think that he did a tremendous job or he, I'm not even sure who actually directed this film, but whoever did, um, I, I have to take my hat off to you, uh, for bringing this film to life because it was so incredible in my opinion. And it, it, it's so meaningful on so many levels. And, I love it, man. I really, truly do. There was moments of when I was watching, I felt very emotionally attached to it where, yeah, man, there were some times where I almost shed a tear or two, you know, because it, it was getting so real. And um, it was just all, all around, ladies and gentlemen, a great movie. And I had a great time watching this with you guys. And I'm very curious to see what your guys' thoughts are are in this now one thing i mentioned to you guys was the space race uh of course this was happening during the space race era which is you know a, a very very uh i don't even know what kind of time to call it but what i was pretty much trying to get at with this was that i'm not sure what the whole fuss was about to be honest with you like okay going to space that's interesting that's exciting that's something you know, very new around this time period. So I get all of that and I get all the fuss and the hype behind it. But what I didn't quite understand was the race. Like I didn't understand why did we have to feel like we were in such a race with Russia? Like what would have been so bad if we were not the first ones to the moon? You know what I mean? I never understood that. I never got that throughout this whole film. Um, they were mentioning the space race and, oh, Russia's getting there first. And I get that, but I just didn't get what the whole fuss was about. Like, why did it matter so much that Russia got there before us? You know what I'm saying? So for anybody who knows that part in history or if anybody who knows the answer to that, feel free to comment down below uh, just so I have a better understanding about, like, what the big deal was about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not saying it wasn't a big deal. I'm just trying to understand why it was a big deal. So if you guys know the answer, please feel free to comment down below. Uh, but to know that these women were a part of this and the main reason why we technically kind of got to the moon before Russia and everyone else, you know, it's just, it just was, it's just fascinates me because I, I had no idea I would I would have never known anything if I never watched this movie uh and and for that reason right there you guys I think this movie is just flat out fantastic and these women uh are are truly truly aspiring like 100 percent and I'm, I'm happy like I told you guys I'm happy to say that I'm leaving this movie saying that I I, I know who these people are you know what I'm saying they're worthy of knowing who they are, and they deserve to to be mentioned. You know, um, I guess when you read the title of this ep, uh, I was gonna say episode, but I guess you re when you read the title, uh, to the show, uh, to the movie. I said it again, geez. Uh, I guess when you read the title to the movie and it says hidden figures, I guess that's what that means. You know, they were kind of hidden. You know, they're 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 very important people that I didn't know about. You know what I'm saying, and. I'm happy to say that I'm leaving this knowing who these women are. And uh, it was such a great movie, ladies and gentlemen. Really, really great movie. So thank you guys once again for joining me. Uh, I rate this movie a 9 out of 10. Uh, feel free, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section if you guys uh, want to mention anything about anything that I didn't mention in this uh, review portion. Let me know about it. If there's anything else that you guys know about these women that they didn't talk about in this movie that you guys would like to share with me, feel free. Let me know all about it. I would love to know more about these strong women who overcame a lot to get to where they were in life. And uh yeah, that's just about it. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you on the next movie we decide to watch together, ladies and gentlemen. See you then.